We have to talk. Last week, I came onto the internet and so handsomely touted a pair of horses at Turfway Park to be great big prices that stood an okay chance. I'm not talking about the fact that they lost, all right? I'm talking about way too many of you listened to me and put your money on what I said and it wasn't, even, it wasn't worth even taking anything at that point. There's no reason those horses should have gone at as low of odds as they did. So starting here, at least half of you watching cannot listen to what I'm saying. If you hear what I'm saying, you're going to have to do something else. This is for the greater good of the other half of people who deserve a fair price. Now for the other half of you who are listening to me, race six, Turfway Park, uh, for Wednesday, December, whenever it is, we are not touching the number one Ranger Fox, okay? If you're a racehorse and you've only raced three times in the last two years, you're no racehorse of mine. And when you're going to be a short price, that's even more worthless. Uh, so we're going to hope that we have an okay price on the number eight Hastings Sunrise coming off of monster efforts at Mountaineer. He flexes speed from an outside draw. Uh, that could be okay on the upward trajectory. And I also have uh, some sneaky interest in the number two Commando Joe as a big bomb away Boomer Rooney just because he had a bobbled break last out and has some sneaky form before going on layoff that shows that maybe uh, he might be able to put in an okay effort given the right trip. And the price will be good. If the price on Commando Joe is no good leaving the gate, I have no idea what I'm going to do with any of you. Why must God give his biggest struggles to his greatest touts?